Okay, so I'm Jonathan Holloway, Principal Quality Engineer at Red Hat. I focus mainly on CI and test automation. And I'm talking to you today about up and running with Glusto and Glusto tests in five minutes or less. So ready, set, go. And before I go, there's two assumptions in this presentation. Uh, the first being, I'm sorry, I can't see you through my glasses. Um, <laughs> how many of you do not know what Glusto and Glusto tests are? Okay, so the first assumption is that everyone knows what Glusto and Glusto tests are. So I'll try to fix that somewhere in here and, and let you know, the people that don't. The second assumption is, is that you already have a test environment set up, whether it be bare metal, VM, VM on your laptop, <coughs> that's not covered here. So one of the things that we wanted to do is we can't assume necessarily that you're writing and running your tests on the same platform that I'm writing and running my tests. And I can't necessarily assume that you're running your tests on the same platform that you're writing your tests on as well. So to get around that and, and provide a five minute or less way to be up and running with Glusto and Glusto tests on an unknown platform, we're using Docker and containers. And essentially there's four steps to be up and running. There's install Docker, start your Docker service, pull a Glusto tests image from Docker Hub, and then do Glusto tests like things. So we've set up the hook that any time a test is pushed to the Glusto test repository, the Docker Hub automatically generates a new version of the container and all of the uh, tests, the test libraries that we've written, which is what Glusto tests are, it's the libraries that does, they do the Gluster like things that you need to do in your tests. Uh, all of that's rolled in there, including supporting uh, tools like Ansible, Gdeploy. Uh, I think I even throw Elcov in there because I do some reporting uh, on the back end of the testing. So let me show you how this works. So I've pre recorded a demo of this, and it's got a step away. <laughs> it's installing Docker right now. Uh, I'm on Fedora, so I just did a DNF install Docker. Uh, for whatever platform you're running on, Windows, Mac OS, uh, Brel, 6, 7, Fedora, uh, there's documentation online either at the docker.com site or uh, I'll start plugging in some of those other common uh, common platforms in here. So still installing Docker. It's probably the longest process in the whole up and running in five minutes. Um, so now I'm starting the Docker service and I'm pulling what they have. They have a hello world for Docker so you can make sure that your Docker instance is running the way it's supposed to. So it's pulling hello world right now from Docker Hub. You'll see hello world pop up here in a second. So hello world. Uh, so that's working. So now I'm going to go out and pull the Gluster slash Glusto test Docker image. The way this is set up with Docker files, each time you execute a command in the Docker file or something that you want to do in your image as it's set up, it creates a new layer. Uh, this can be optimized, it just isn't yet. Um, so you'll see all of these different layers coming down right now. Uh, I've got a little bit of time while it does that. So if you don't know what Docker and Docker tests are, uh, I'm sorry, Glusto and Glusto tests. Glusto is essentially a wrapper around common Python modules that you might use for creating tests. Uh, includes logging capability, remote SSH, RPIC, uh, and an easy to use uh, class wrapper that you can just inject into your test script and then use that functionality. Glusto tests 
that's the, we've got Glustotest Gluster, Glustotest IO, Glustotest Miscellaneous. Those are libraries that are specific to Gluster or IO creation or miscellaneous stuff gets put in the miscellaneous. So it's still working. This is the second, or actually this is the longest. The install's the second longest. And I was on a slower link on this too, so it will go much faster for you. How much time do I have? One minute? Okay. Extracting the last one. Here we go. So now I'm doing something. Um, this I'm running against the Docker image just to show you that these are the versions of Ansible and Gdeploy that are installed. These are the Glusto libs dash Gluster IO miscellaneous installed. And now I'm doing a git pull on the uh, Gluster Glusto test container and then I just ran a test. So that was five minutes and by this clock three minutes from start to finish on that. So it doesn't tell you how to use Glusto tests. That's kind of the next presentation that needs to be put out there um, is how to use the libraries uh, to write your scripts and contribute them upstream. Test, test, test. Sean mentioned that. So that's it. Any questions? Nope. All right. Thank you so much. All right.